Hmm. Well, hello everybody. This is the Northern Know-It-All of nothing. Um, I bought a wagon for my ATV. Um, and it had bad wheels. Um, I don't have a wheel around here, but it came with bad wheels. Uh, with bad bearings. Um, tried to find bearings on the internet. Couldn't really get any information off of the trailer. It is just an old garden. Pull behind trailer for a tractor. Holds like 300 pounds. Um, this shaft here is very, very unique because down here, uh, you can kind of see there's a screw that goes through and holds it to this axle mount as well as going through so that it doesn't wobble. So you cannot buy these axles online anywhere. Um, I have not found them anywhere. So what I did was I took my handy dandy uh, tool here, measured the shaft to figure out what it was. It turned out it was a 15, um, let me turn it around for the camera. It was a 15 millimeter bearing. Um, that's what this bearing here is, is a 15 millimeter, as you can see. Um, it comes with, I got these wheels at, uh, I think this one I got at Tractor Supply. Or no, actually I got these at uh, Rural King. And they come with these massive bearings that wobble. So... Um, in theory, if you have wobble and you're carrying massive amounts of weight, so I plan on putting probably about 300 pounds worth of wood, dirt, mulch, rock, etc. Uh, I live in a rural country, so I do a lot of, uh, work around my property. Um, so with that being said, that comes with these spacers as well. Um, cause you cannot find ones that actually fit the length here. There's a, you can see there's a little cutout right where the end of my pinky is. Um, to find wheels that originally came with this is, has been a pain in the butt. So I found some $19.99 wheels. Um, I took the old bearings out of the old wheels and put them in the new wheels, but the bearings were shot. Um, kind of beat up, rusty, uh, I think I actually broke one, but just to move it around the yard, for the moment, I had, uh, just put them in there, just to see if it would work, in theory, and it did, um, so I went online, and I looked up 15 millimeter bearings, and it turns out, the reason you can't find a 15 millimeter bearing, um, in any part store, um, big box stores, um, or a 15 millimeter uh, diameter uh, axle is because this is the these axles the, the the 15 diameter is what a dirt bike axle is front and rear so this bearing here is mostly found in dirt bikes um, front wheels um, so if you didn't know that you know it now so I went online and looked up dirt bike bearings and behold on Amazon they have 15 millimeter sealed bearings and they are a perfect fit no wobble they slide up and down perfectly smooth so when you're carrying heavy weights you don't have to worry about that uh, another thing too is I did it with a socket Last time, uh, old old mechanics trick, fitting in with the socket. Unfortunately, uh, I used the wrong socket first time go, and as you can see, I cursed the seal. So, being that I am an Amazon whore, one on Amazon, found this is just a no name cheap twenty six dollar bearing set, bearing setter. Um, once again, 
like I said, Amazon whore. Get all my stuff off of Amazon because I live in the rural and since a pain advocate, I don't like to be around other people. Um, so this is the part number for the bearings. So if you have one of these tiny trailers and you're trying to figure out how to um, change these bearings or find these bearings uh, and having issues like I did, uh, I just wanted to help make a handy dandy video to uh, help people out with that. Once again, these are the bearings that come with it, as you can see, destroyed them when I took them out. So they go in the bucket. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Now, I'm going to pause this video quick. I, was, I don't have an iPhone holder. And I want to finish this job up so I can be done. And then get on to painting the $35 wagon off of Marketplace in my area. Uh, 35 bucks. I couldn't pass it up. It had two flat tires. Thought, well, I could fix it. And like I said, it turned into a project. Um, the only thing I will recommend to everybody is measuring, um, if you're trying to do this, sim something similar like this, and you find a cheap wagon, is to measure the depth from the top of your, where your, um, comes down. If you can measure this part of the axle where it comes down. So that you know to make sure what your depth here. I didn't and I have yet to find uh, one that is long enough here um, to fit this space. Uh, but luckily for me, uh, most tires nowadays, they come with these uh, polysynthetic uh, bushings or bearings or, or spacers. Whatever you want to call them. Um, they rub. They sit like this. And they just rub. You just make sure you don't tighten them down too far that they cannot spin. Um, but figured I would make a video quick. Uh, try to make it under 10 minutes. And uh, help somebody out, hopefully. Uh, try and fix a small trailer. Um, I am doing this very crudely uh, with tools I have sitting around. So I'm using that to get the bearings out because I don't have a bearing tool and that to bang it out uh, that's probably why I broke the bearings last time because I had no tool to actually force them out and um, I don't have a welder at this time to make one so use what you got try to be nice uh, nice didn't work the bearings I believe were under 10 bucks um, total and I got four I think it was 5.99 for two a set of two um, so with that being said here this is my little video hopefully i'm gonna pause it right here quick finish this uh put it back together and roll it out the shop so let's do that now uh, be back in a minute so back with the tail end of the project tires are on um sorry about the camera i'm new to this this is my very first video um just trying to give a little help to people that are like me. Look to YouTube for videos on how to get our projects done that we're not 100%. Or maybe somebody else out there has had a similar issue. Um, so, you know, just trying to make a better community, better world, better community. Help out a little video. Um like I said, once again, this is my very first video uh, I've ever done. Uh, I normally wouldn't do this um, just because I am very shy when it comes to this kind of stuff. Um, so be nice, be gentle. I know um, people on here can get very, very mean, um, you know, the keyboard warriors. Um, like I said, I am just doing this to help out with a problem i found um with a what i thought would be a very simple project changing tires on a wagon how hard could that be um and it turned into a project um so i figured i with 
having all the issues I had, I would just make a quick video on how to find the bearings for this particular wagon. This wagon, or this little trailer, does not have a name on it. Um, so I don't know who made it. Um, I don't know if other trailer companies are easier now. Um, like I said, I just bought cheap wheels from a uh, farm fleet or tractor supply, a rule king or Arschwitz, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's all sorts of county stores, you know, you can get those kind of, these kind of wheels. Um, and like I said, I ran into just issues with these bearings, um, you know. Um, so I figured I would, you know, make a quick video um, just to help someone else out maybe you know if it helps one person hey that's cool you know I, I made a video that helped somebody um wow that'd be awesome um and maybe this is a start of me doing some more videos i don't know um like i said it was just a i had a lot of difficulties had to do a lot of work um had to find a lot of things to get this done wow i am not pretty looking on camera ha Who'd have thought? So once again, this is the uh, northern know-it-all of nothing. Um, I'm probably gonna see if I can make that my page name. Um, just doing a project. So um, it's a beautiful day where I'm from, um, or where I'm at, and I just figured I would, you know, make a video. That's next. Um, so you guys have a good day. Bye.